early uh, Valentine message. Oh, so happy Valentine's Day to you. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. Feliz Dia de los San Valentin. Amen. Praise God. So we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church at a Big Ben. We welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive God has something for you. Amen. Don't let him go and say, you got something for me. I want it. Amen. And grow from it. Amen. Take it. Receive it. And then grow from it. Amen. So praise God. Our message today is going to be the Father's love for us. Yes. The Father loves us so much that he's in his only begotten son. Amen. Of course, uh, John 3, 16, 17 is going to be our text today. For God loved the world so much. World is people. So you're around people every time, no matter where you go, you're always around people. So you can't exclude them. You just got to include them. Yeah. And what you do is you got to love on them and you got to share Jesus with them. Amen. I know. He says you can do all things through Christ. Amen. Before we get too excited here, let's grab our swords, soldier of God. Yeah. Amen. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking with God. I always confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I love being saved in Jesus' name. Once again, I know you know this, but I'll remind you, the battlefield is the mind. And if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, you're going to fall. Amen. You're going to be weak. If you allow yourself, you know, yeah. this cold weather weakens some of these old batteries in your vehicles. And, you know, when you go to start it, go somewhere, it won't start. It's dead. We need to keep our spiritual batteries charged all the time with the word of God. Amen. amen. It's nobody's fault but yours. Amen. Yeah, it's not his fault. The problem is here. We have to keep these spiritual batteries charged up and up. Amen. And also we got to renew our minds with the yes. word of God. Because the enemy, the Bible says, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. <clears throat> and, and if you're not ready, he's ready. Full-time devil. Part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. Amen. He's ready. We got to stay ready. Yes. Amen. You know why? Because you, when you know the enemy's attacking, you got to say Get behind me. Take authority. He says, he's not giving me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. And I'm taking authority over you. And I'm commanding you to leave in Jesus' name. He ain't going to stop. So don't you stop. And keep feeding on the word. Because that mental, that, uh, that, uh, uh, that battlefield of the mind, it's a steady thing. Yes, it and is. you're always thinking you're going to re replace all the negative thoughts with no. positive thoughts. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And yeah. the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. All right. Amen. The, the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So you want to speak the right things. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, and you want to renew your mind because you want to erase all that negative stuff out of yes. you. Yes. We're around this negative world. Uh -huh. And you're going to hear it all the time. You're going to see it all the time. Everywhere yes. you go, it doesn't Everywhere. matter. You're going to hear it. So renew your mind. This is yes. what the word of God says. This is what God wants me to do. This is what where God wants me to be. Amen. So but we still got to be Christ-like. Christ Amen. We can't hate him. Yes, we got to love him just like he yes. wants us to. <laughs> For uh, God so loved the world. world. Uh -huh. People. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! There you go. The Father's love for us. Uh -huh. He loved us so much. He yes. sacrificed his son. Yes. And uh, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I got a couple of nuggets I want to read to you. And then go with something like this. I already read this to church family here. But it says, be a God pleaser. Be more concerned with what God thinks about you than what people think about you. And they're going to tell you. Amen. And they're not just going to think it. They're going to speak it. And they're going to say it. And it's going to hurt you if you allow it. So renew your mind. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. God never told you to impress people only to love them. Don't confuse the command to love. A command to love is not if you want to. A command means do it. Yeah, Obey. Yeah. Amen. Right. It says command to love with the disease to please. <laughs> Amen. Right. You don't want to do that. That's you good. know, you want to please God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So if you don't want to well, I'm not going now. Release the past. We just started a new year. We on the second month. It says one of the main keys. To overcoming disappointments, regrets in life is learning to let go of the past. Let go of the past by choosing to forgive those who have hurt you and wronged you by believing 
that God will restore to you anything that was taken. Mm -hmm. People are going to hurt you, yeah. but you got to forgive and forget. Amen. Because when you go and confess your sins to him, he says, I'll forgive and forget him. We need uh -huh. to do the same thing to be Christ-like. I mean, he died for them too. For God so loved the world, yes. save and unsaved. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So who are we to say? Well, we got a little group that's going to heaven, so the rest of you going to hell. No. <laughs> he did what he had to do, fulfill his mission, and then he was taken. But he says, What I did, you can do. He says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel, the gospel. to all creatures, yes. to all peoples. Uh -huh. Amen. So we can do it. Amen. But if you know, if you're not strengthening yourself with the word of God, you're going to be weak. And it's not his fault. It's our fault. How do I strengthen myself? Get in the Word. Get in the Word and be strong in the Word. Keep them spiritual batteries up and up. Amen. Don't let them go down. Where was I? <laughs> when you receive Christ's forgiveness in your own life, you are released from the press, uh, pressure to make up for the past mistakes and failures. You begin to experience the, blue, the bright future God has in store for you. Don't let the regrets of yesterday destroy the hopes of tomorrow. No matter what has happened in the past, God is a God of restoration. He will restore you what the enemy has stolen from you. Accept God's mercy and forgiveness today. Don't look for says and look forward to the great plans that He has for yes, you amen. in the future. When you're looking for God's plans in your in your future, you're going to be happy. You're not going to be sad. Thank you, Lord, that I can do all things through Christ. With strength this week. This is how you receive each and every day. He says, This is the day I have given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Drop the excuses and drop the weather conditions, whatever other conditions you have, just drop them. Amen. And and just do what he commands us to do. Rejoice and be glad in this day I have given you. Thank you, Lord. I want to be busy about the Father's work, about the Father, what Father wants me to do. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Man, I don't know about you, but I'm blessed. Amen. And so are you. Amen. You just got to remind yourself. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. He didn't make jump. He made us to be winners. He made us to be champions. He made us to be overcomers. Amen. Oh, let me see. <laughs> facing your giants. You have giants facing you each and every day. Whether you know it or not, your giants may be different than mine. He says, don't let your giants of cares, fears, sickness, troubles, lacks defeat you. Defeating them does not depend on your abilities. Jesus has already defeated them. Mm -hmm. He tells us the enemy is a defeated foe. So why are you letting a defeated foe defeat you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Take authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Submit yourself to him. Resist him. And he has to flee. The Bible says so. Listen, devil. <laughs> You know who's back to me. Mm -hmm. You know whose I am. So yeah. I'm speaking the word of God, and you have to go. Yes. I'm not going to take this mess anymore. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> Jesus has already okay. defeated him. You fight a, a spiritual battle daily, and God has given his church, us, the body of Christ, spiritual weapons uh -huh. to use. Don't let any uncircumcised Phil or giant, <laughs> I said Philistine giant, yeah. <laughs> or care, take your victory away from you. You believe it, you receive it, act on it, and he says, press on. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, well, you know, you failed me, so I want you to sit on the side, take a sabbatical. I can't use you right now. Mm -hmm. I'll call you when I'm ready for you. Yeah. No, he says, I forgive and forget. Yeah. So he says, press on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's for all of us. You know what? Right. Right. We all have a past mm -hmm. and we have a testimony, but you know what? Mm -hmm. He says, you're forgiven yes. and I've forgotten about it. So now it's time to get busy for God. That's it, that's Amen. It. If you're not busy, it's because you're still thinking with your head. We got to renew our minds to what He wants us, the way He wants us to think. You're forgiven. It's time to press on. Yeah. It, it, we we got to get off of this lazy, comfy stuff. You know, we got to get press on. Amen. Well, hurry up, Pastor, because Super Bowl today. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, who was that? <laughs> Help me, Lord. <laughs> well, anyway, we're celebrating Valentine's. And we celebrate it by giving and sending uh, cards, flowers, candies, a special meal to our friends, our classmates, our boyfriend, girlfriends, sweethearts, and our spouses. Amen. So, yes, we do these things. You tell them we love them. 
to tell them they're special, to let them know we appreciate them. Yes. Amen. Yes. So it's okay. Yes. But it, guess what? It says the Heavenly Father showed his agape love by sending his best Valentine, his son Jesus. Amen. And we can celebrate this Valentine's Day daily, right. not yes. just once a year. Amen. Amen. He gave it all. And I'm going to read to you. Uh, let me see. I got a few more of these. God, God is love. Keep going, Colonel. Here we go. So happy Val or Valentine's uh, Day blessings. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting. John 3, Amen. 16, King James. Yes. says, Amen. may your day be full of his love. Amen. Yes. And if you're full of him, you're going to love everybody. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Keep going. I got a few of these. It says Valentine's Day blessings. Love one another as I have loved you. Love John 13, 34, King yeah. James. Amen. So yeah. if we're full of him, we're going to love. Amen. Amen. If you're not, you're going to start judging. And yeah. if you're not <laughs> renewing your mind, you're going to start acting like the world. There we go. For God so loved, again, it spells Valentine right down the middle. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish. But have everlasting life, John three sixteen. So a Valentine from God to you. So I don't say nobody ever sent me a Valentine. You got one. He said his son. Amen. Yeah. That's the best Valentine you yeah. can get. Keep going. Oh my God, another one. <laughs> For God so loved the world. Same thing. You know, it spells Valentine right down the middle. John three sixteen. Keep going, Carl. Okay, you can leave it right there. Oh. And that's our text. John 3, 16, 17, King James says, For God so loved the world, us, that's us, save and unsaved. He said he was going to he sacrificed his son for all of us. Now it's up to us to receive him, confess him as Lord and Savior. If you do, he says you come into us and be our Lord and Savior. But you have to re confess with yes, your mouth, yeah. not your mama's, not your daddy's, not, not anybody else, but your mouth. Amen. Amen. <laughs> says, this is why I wrote it, okay? This is Pastor's version here. For God so loved the world, us, that he gave, he sent his best Valentine, his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. We try to condemn the world all the time. We try to condemn people. You say, well, you know, God died for me, and I'm saved, but you're going to hell. Mm -mm. That's not what he told us to do. He said, go preach the gospel mm -hmm. to every creature. Mm -hmm. Amen? So that's what we're to do. Preach the gospel to everybody. You know, you just preach it. You don't stay there and convert them. You don't stay there until they, mm -hmm. you know, you see them growing up or whatever. You just sow the seed, and then you can go. God's going to see to it that it's watered. God's going to see to it that he's going to give the increase. He knows God's time is not our time. Amen. A lot of times we want to help him out. Yeah. And you know, sometimes if we help out, they're going to get bored. They're going to get upset. And they're going to say, forget yeah. it, man. Yeah. That's we push too much. Mm -hmm. Sow the seed and press on. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Jesus, the first Valentine, is still the best one ever sent. Amen. So let's remember that. Woo! Uh, Mark uh, 30, New Living Translation. Well, let me read it to you from here. New King James says, For God so loved the world, people, saved, unsaved, yes. that he gave his only begotten Son. Yes. Now, whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And 17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. But you have to. There's only one way, and that's to confess him as your Lord and Savior. If you do, he says he'll come to be your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. But he's not going to lie that you will. You have your own will. And if you're not going to say, if you're not going to confess it, he's not going to come. Right. But you have two places to go. Either you go up or you go down. But that's your choice. Keep going. Hallelujah. Still that pastor. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good. Thank you. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> Greater love there's no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends mm -hmm. John 15 13 amen yes. and uh, the expanded Bible says the great the greatest love a person can have is to die for his friends mm -hmm. no one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one one's friends Jesus death 
is the ultimate expression yes. of this principle. Amen. Jesus allowed himself, he came, and he uh, gave his life. Amen. Amen. He was sacrificed. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Keep on. Good. I like that. But he also tells us in Mark 20, uh, 12 and 30, says, To love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Yes. So you're not just beating around the bush. That's it. That's <laughs> and you know, no pretenders. Mm -hmm. We got to be participators mm -hmm. and not just spectators. Yes. And not just lip service, but for, for, for real. <laughs> Amen. Yes. So, <clears throat> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I like this. It says, St. Corinthians, we, we, we know this, you know, but what, hey, we're taking the word and we're studying it and we're growing from it. Amen. Amen. And this is good because we always, you know how you mature in the word when mm -hmm. you, you read a scripture and yeah. you say, I never saw it like that. Uh -huh. It means something different to me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, you're climbing the, the ladder, you know, one rung at a time mm -hmm. and say, wow, that's maturity. Amen. Yeah. And we yeah. need to grow and mature each and every day. Yeah. Praise God. I want you glad we're not baby Christians all our lives. Oh, I, know. I mean, the enemy is defeating you every day. Mm -hmm. So St. Corinthians 5.17, New Life Version says, For if a man belongs to Christ, he is a new person. The old life is gone, and the new life has begun. Mm -hmm. The new life, the new love life, as his children, we are his new creature, love creatures in Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I, I chose this one because I showed you this. Our past life, you see the little cocoon, I want oh, you say yeah. that. You see yeah. the cocoon up there? Uh -huh. And that's an ugly little thing. Uh -huh. But look what came out of the cocoon. Uh -huh. A beautiful butterfly. Yes. This is you. Uh -huh. We come out of the past into uh -huh. the new life with Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. You're a beautiful thing to him. Yes. Amen. He meant you to be a winner, not a loser. Yes. Yes. Amen. If we're losing, it's not because of him. The prodigal son took off from his dad you know we took off from from god you know but guess what he says i could do better at god's house i could do better with father you know at father's house so can we but you see this ugly little thing this beautiful butterfly came from well your old past life is gone the new life has begun so see yourself this way amen he says therefore if anyone is in christ he's a new creation all things have passed away behold all things have become new so guess what the enemy is going to bring against you? Uh -huh, uh -huh. The past. Yes. Guess what your friends are going to bring against oh, yeah. you? That's your past. Right. Mm -hmm. So you know what? When you get yourself in Christ, <laughs> mm -hmm. he's going to give you new friends. Mm -hmm. Amen. I think I've told you this so many yes. times. I asked the Lord to help me. Yes. And he started taking old <laughs> friends yeah. away from oh, me. Yeah. And he yeah. brought new friends around yes. me. He yeah. says, help me with these enemies I have, Lord. Mm -hmm. And guess what? These friends started dropping off. <laughs> uh, yeah. And all of a sudden, I've got new friends now. Mm -hmm. He's going to bring those new friends. Some for a short season, some for a mid-season, and some for a long season. Yes. Still, yes. they are going to help you, and they're not going to judge you That's or it. bring your past up. If you got friends telling you these things all the time, it's time to change friends. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hey, if you're around a skunk, <laughs> you're going to stink. <laughs> and you're going to want to change. Yeah. See, man, if, if a skunk comes in here, you're going to want to move to the next room. You're going to want to have to move somewhere else. Get him out of here. Amen. But if he's, if he's changing you, if he's taking friends away, mm -hmm. don't get him back. That's Let him go. Yeah. He's changing you for a reason. Yeah. He's got better things for you. Uh -huh. They've been dragging you. We talked about distractions. These distractions are holding you back. Don't allow distractions to hold you back. That's it. That's it. Amen. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah. Praise God. That's enough. Thank you, anyway, Thank you, it's a beautiful thing. You're a beautiful thing to him. That's the way he sees you. See yourself the way he sees you. That's it. But you know what he wants you to do? He wants you to put your Jesus glasses on. He wants you to put your Jesus glasses on and show his love. And his compassion uh -huh. when you go to the world. Spend time with him. You know what happens when you spend time with him early in the morning? You know? Man, yeah. your Jesus glasses come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you got his love and his compassion. So when you go out into this ugly world, you're seeing him through his, his eyes. Yeah. And you're yeah. seeing him through him. Yes. But he gave his life for him, for uh -huh. them too. 
So you need to know this. And you've got that God love and compassion about you. Amen. And you need to show it. Not just talk about it. Now you have to show it. Amen. Yeah, Pastor, but you don't know. These people around me. These people I, I'm around. Well, you know, I think it's time for a, a change of location. I think it's time for a change of friends. Amen. Because these friends are not going to judge you or hold you back. You know, some of these some of these friends have given up on their dreams and they want you to do the same thing. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your peace. Drag them into your peace. Don't drag, don't let them drag you into their uh, right, right, world, right. into yeah. their uh, problems. Uh, uh, problems. You know, Reason. you drag them into your peace. Amen. And you got peace. You got Jesus. You got peace. Amen. Because God is love. God is peace. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you don't like my Jesus glasses. Yes, you like them. <laughs> So we're his new love creatures. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. St. Corinthians 5.17. It says, new love creatures of God. Go see yourself. You're a new love creature of God. Amen. Amen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ and grafted in, joined to him by faith as Savior, yes. he is a new creature, reborn and yes. renewed by the Holy Spirit. Yes. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual conditions have passed away. Amen. If he says they're gone, let them go. Mm -hmm. I've told you this, it's so simple. When you drop, bring your trash to the dumpster mm -hmm. or wherever you put your trash, <laughs> you don't say, well, I want it back. And you no. bring it back <laughs> into the house. You know, no. it's going to stink. And yeah. your life is going to stink. Mm. So what you do is, if you're giving it to it and dropping it and casting it on him, mm -hmm. leave, it there. leave it there. Don't take it back. He don't need our help. He says, cast all. Uh -huh, it means uh -huh. all of it. Don't uh -huh. hold on to any part of it. <laughs> he says, the previous war and spiritual conditions have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Spiritual awakening. Yeah. It's time to have a spiritual awakening. How is this? Get in the Word. Stay in the Word. Study the Word. Uh -huh. So we can give you a spiritual awakening. Man, yeah. now I know what yeah. the enemy is trying to do. He's using these to distract me. Yes. He's using that to distract me. Yes. Wow, you know, I had a spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They've been trying to wake us up. <laughs> a spiritual birth. Bringing a new life. Amen. It's a new life. So don't let the world, don't let uh, old friends or enemies bring all these things against you. Amen. Because they tried to do the same thing with Jesus. One day they, 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 they received him <laughs> into Jerusalem, you know, as a king. And next thing you know, one week later, they crucified him. And they were coming up for Easter Sunday next month. So, we ain't even gone through what he went through. That's it. Amen. And we're, we're just complaining about it. He went through it. He says, you know what? I went through it. But you, you, you'll be going through some of the same things. But, he says, you can make it. And you can do all things through all me because you got my strength. I give you my strength that yes. you can press on. He cried to the Father and says, Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. What about us? We need his strength each and every day. Yes. Romans 5.5 5 says, Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our yes. hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Amen. He says, I'm leaving, he says. But he says, I'm leaving the Holy Spirit with you. Mm -hmm. So our yeah. bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. That's it. Amen. It used to be a building. Amen. That's where they went. That's where the Holy Spirit was. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now the Holy Spirit is here. You know when he ripped, the veil was ripped. Amen. Now the Holy Spirit is in us. We're the temple of God. Amen. Amen. Our bodies are the temple of God. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Romans 5.5. 5, the... Gospel, I mean, excuse me, the Good News Translation says, This hope does not disappoint us, for God has poured out His love yes. unto our hearts by means of the Holy Spirit, who is God's gift to us. Amen. So He's not holding back. No. We hold back. We hold back. Mm -hmm. Amen. We hold back, but He's not holding back from us. Right. Amen. He wants to give. He says He's given. He's given. For God so gave His Son. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Jesus gave himself. Mm -hmm. We need to give ourselves and we need to give our best. Amen. Amen. The Amplified says this. Such hope in God's promises never disappoints us because 
God's love has been abundantly poured out within us, within our hearts, yes. through the Holy Spirit who Amen. was given to us. Yes. Amen. So remember, the Bible talks about tri beings. Well, he yes. talks about the Holy Trinity, mm. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm. So the Holy Spirit is a person, <laughs> and the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Amen. So He's going to lead us, guide us, and protect us. Amen. And amen. He's going to tell us, don't go that way, go this way. So when something's telling you not to go that way, well, there's something is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> God's given to us. Yes. And then believers have been given the, his, this love from God for our daily walk in life. We need it every day as we go out in life. Yes. I mean, every one of us has to go out. You, can, you have to go to work. Yeah. Or you have to go buy groceries. Yeah. You have to go to the doctor. That you have to go buy out. clothes. You have to yeah. go buy things. You have to go to the post office. Yeah. Guess what? Everywhere you go, there's people. Yeah. And you got to be ready and prepared. Amen. Yeah. We are his loving children. Love, his love creatures. Loving, accepting, and forgiving. Yeah. His ministers of reconciliation. Yes. The Bible tells us also in 2 Corinthians 5. He said, we're his ministers of reconciliation. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. He's involved with us. And we need to feel pleased to say, God is using me. God wants to use me. Yeah, he wants to use you. So, <laughs> he's not the problem. The problem is here. we got to get ourselves lined up with what God says to do. Amen? We're his ministers of reconciliation. Bringing the world to him. Amen. Amen. Also, we're his ambassadors. We, guess what? You get to speak for, for him here on earth. We're his mouthpiece. Going somewhere to happen for somebody. We're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people be around. Amen. You keep hearing that. Write it down. We're the closest thing to Jesus. Some people be around. Are you talking it? Are you walking it? Are you speaking it? You know? They're going to know. Oh, he's one of them. Or she's one of them. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm glad I'm proud to be called one of them. You one, <laughs> one of them Jesus freaks. Yeah. You one of them Jesus lovers. Yeah. All Praise right. God. That's okay. Praise God. Guess what? When time comes and they need help, they need uh, uh, prayer, they're going to come look for you. Yeah. Call brother so and so. Yeah. Call sister so and so. Man, they, they're, they're, they're a person of God. Amen. Yeah, they know. They may not say anything around you until they get in a crisis. Yeah. Then they know. <laughs> Let me see where I keep going. Praise God. Yeah, right there. That's where we are. <laughs> First John 4, 7 and 8 says, Dear yeah. friends, as a New Living Translation says, Dear friends, let us continue to love one another. Continue. Not stop. Continue to love one another. Mm -hmm. For love comes from God. That's it. Anyone who loves is born of God and knoweth yes. God. Yes. But, verse 8, anyone who does not love does not know God. For God yes. is love. love. Uh -huh. Amen. So, it says, agape love, unconditional love. Yes. For God so yes. loved the world. For God so agape loved the yes. world. Unconditional love. Mm -hmm. If he had some conditions, he would have said, I'm not going to sacrifice my, my son for, for, for them losers. <laughs> he didn't say that. Mm -mm. Amen. He showed his agape love. Mm -hmm. He says, I want my people back. Yes. And he sacrificed his son. He was showing agape love. Yes. Get to know your loving Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Have a relationship with him. Bond with him. Spend time with him. Imitate him. We talked a little bit about this last time. But we want to copy him. We want to spend time with him. Mm -hmm. I could never love that person. Well, that's me speaking. <laughs> I could never love that person. Oh, you know, if that person comes here, mm -hmm. I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> well, I said this. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> if you find the perfect church and you go there, <laughs> you make it imperfect. Yes, it just turned Amen. Perfect. Because, listen, <laughs> the enemy has got the world. Mm -hmm. He ain't worried about the world. He wants to come into the body of Christ. Yes. He wants to come into church yeah, yeah. and divide the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, <laughs> we should renew our minds so that we don't bring the world in here. Yeah. Because enemy wants to use each and every one. If we're not in him, mm -hmm. we're going to be in the world. Yeah. And we're going to try to bring the world. And he's going to use 
every one of us that allows ourselves to be used yes. by the enemy yeah. to bring division yes. into the body of Christ. Yeah. And we don't need that. Right. Amen. We need to let that go and say, wait a minute. And I'll, I'll go a little deeper and, and say this. <laughs> before you come here, before you spend time with him, renew your mind. Spend time with him and say, Lord, I'm, I, I'm believing the pastor is going to bring the word we want to hear from you. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this time. Yes. Any traits of the enemy, any visitations from the enemy, we just cancel right now yes, in yes. Jesus' name. Yes, yes. And I get myself straight in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. So anything in me that's not of you, cleanse yes. me, take it. You know, I give it to you so that when we come, this atmosphere for him is ready. Amen. And he has a free visitation right to come and he do his thing. Mm -hmm. We cleanse ourselves so that this place can be cleansed for him to come and visit. And, but you can do this when you're driving somewhere. Mm -hmm. You can do this wherever you happen to be. That's it. Amen. Laying down. It doesn't matter. Lord, I invite you to come. Well, let's get cleanse our minds, you know, renew our minds with the word of God and get all the negative stuff off. Yeah. You know why? Because if you don't, you're going to be doing, man, uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> Hurry up, Pastor. <laughs> I've got things, you know. Well, you know what? You've got priorities. And obviously, Jesus is not on top of your priority oh, list because, you know, you've got things that are pressing you. And he's not about stress. You're too blessed to be stressed. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Cleanse yourself. Renew your mind so that you come and be at peace. I want to be at peace because I want him to visit me. And I want him to share with me and give me a fresh word. Yeah. And he wants to give you a word. Amen. But we're too busy. It just flew by you. He's knocking. We're not opening. Amen. So just, just a little thing there. Says, I could never love that person. Get out of the flesh and get on Jesus. Yes. Get out of your flesh and get on Jesus. Be imitators of Christ. You act this way, but we can change. And that's where attitudes and flat tires, you can't go anywhere until you change them. We must change our attitudes. We must change the way we're thinking by inviting Him to come. Amen. This is your choice. Uh, just listen. I wrote this, and I, I said, "Wow, I hit, I hit the nail on the head here." It says, "Just let your love flow." That was a beautiful song in the past here. But just let your love flow. Jesus brought that up before the Bellamy brothers did. <laughs> Amen. Just let your love flow. Just let God's love flow. But you know how you're gonna do it? When you're filled with the Word, the Bible says, "Out of your innermost being shall flow rivers." Of his love, of living water. His love, his love, his word is going to flow from you. Just let your love flow. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm blessing me. I don't know about Amen. you. Amen. <laughs> uh, keep going. Hallelujah. Oh, he gave us a new commandment. He says, I give to you this a new command that I give you that you love one another. Amen. <laughs> he didn't suggest this. He, he's, it's a command. <laughs> love one another even as, as, as I have loved you, uh -huh. that you also love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. John 13, 34 and 35. And listen. He's going to bring the unsaved, the lost, the sinners in here. We want to receive them with God's love. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't judge and say, well, you know, you got to go somewhere else and clean yourself. Or you no. go somewhere else. This is no. just our little tight little group. You no, know, we're no. saved. No, no. no? <laughs> our four are no more. That's, no. no. <laughs> can't, be, can't, can't, can't be that way. That's Whoever it. God brings is their timing to receive Amen. Him. Amen. So we receive them with His yes. love and His compassion. Mm -hmm. We forgive and we forget. Amen. So, for God, for God so loved the world, He died for all of them also. Mm -hmm. So, they want to come into the body. Who are we to hold them back? That's it. That's we got to show God's love. 
God's mercy, God's yes. compassion. Amen. Yes. So yes. let's remember this. But it don't have to be in this assembly here. It don't have to be in this church building or church place where we assemble ourselves. It could be out there. Yeah. Amen. Because you go out there, that's your mission field. Mm -hmm. And they're going to walk up to you and say, I want what you got. Mm. Say, well, you can never be like me. Mm. Or you can. <laughs> yes, you, yes, they can. Yeah. You got to be have the love of you, the love of God in you, so that you can share with them. Yes. Amen. Amen. Keep going. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Let us think of ways to motivate one another and acts to love of God's uh, of good work. And let us not neglect our meetings together as some people do. But encourage one another, especially now that the days of his, his return are drawing near. And that's Hebrews. If you see a little, uh, we have it posted everywhere, but it says Hebrews 10, 25, uh, 24 and 25, New Living Translation. Amen. So that's why we assemble ourselves together. Woo, hallelujah. You see. Love one another and we will win people for Jesus. Your words, your actions will show Jesus. And that's what we're, we're to do. Amen. Don't hold back, but press in. Amen. He wants to use you. Yes. We make it hard because we have excuses for not loving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, you don't know this person? That person is unlovable. Mm -hmm. Amen. That was my past. That was my testimony. <laughs> unlovable. But not anymore. We never have a good report for anybody. I don't go to church there because they go to church there. Mm. If that's the case. Mm -hmm. I know God brought me here, so I'm going to stay here. Mm -hmm. And you know what you do? If you see something wrong, then you pray about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. As a church group, as a church family, we pray for one another. And Lord is going to bring people up to you. Amen. He's going to pop up in your mind. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, pray for brother so-and-so. Pray for sister so-and-so. Oh, but they're, they're bad, you know. I said, yeah, but I died for them too. And they need my prayer. And they need me now, you know. So pray, pray for them. Amen. If you find a perfect church, you will make it imperfect. If you don't go to church, you'll choose to go to hell. If you don't receive him, you choose to go to hell. Let's get serious about the love, accept, and forgiveness and imitate our Jesus. No one is good enough or lovable i know them i know their past that's what we say change and obey jesus died for them also remember john 3 16. amen we're close with that for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son amen hallelujah and we're talking about people again not just the world you know but people and we are to love them also. So praise God. Woo. Amen. We'll just finish this uh, next week. Amen. We'll stop right there. We, John 3.16. We're showing God's agape love. His unconditional love. Amen. It says we are to love one another just like the Father loved us. Unconditionally. Not only in church gatherings or church assemblies. But outside these four walls. Yes. yes. Amen. Out there we all have different missions different jobs to go to and then we're again we're his ministers of reconciliation we're his mouthpiece listen listen to this you can write this down but it says people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care that's right they'll know i mean you just go try to push something down there they're going to turn you off right quick forget it but when they see the love and compassion of god and they see coming from you People want to know how much you care before they open up to you. Yes. Thank Amen. You. So, for well, God's little creatures, remember that. You write that down. God's little creature. But praise God that you receive. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Amen. Well, thank you, Heavenly thank Father, you. for bringing this word to us, Father God. Listen, none of us have arrived yet. We're still learning. We still come short. But guess what? The Bible says, I'm a believer, or you call yourself a Christian. But I'm still under construction. Mm -hmm. He's still dealing with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. We haven't arrived yet. From the time 
from now until the time he comes back we're still under construction we're still learners don't see don't see don't see yourself a loser but see yourself a learner each and every day i'm learning something different and i'm growing and going for him yeah. Amen. So go and sow his love, and, and as it grow, it will spread like fire throughout yes. the families, throughout the friends, the enemies, and our communities. Yes, thank you, Lord. As we do this, there's no stopping God's love. Amen. Mm -hmm. Remember, that was the only reason He sent Jesus, for God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. So who are we to hold back? We gotta mm -hmm. show our love for Him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Who do you receive? Yeah. <laughs> I received too. Thank you, Lord, for this awesome time. Thank you, Lord, for your precious word. Woo. Help us to apply your love, Father God, and release our love to all those around us, Father God. Amen. So, you that are watching, you that are listening, if you have never accepted him, now's the time. Each and every day is gone, you know. Now's the time. So all you need to do is just say, Lord, I, I need you now. I confess my sin. I've sinned against you. I repent, come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's going to forget about who said what. He can't use you anymore. You're done. He's not finished with you. Amen. When he forgive and forget, it's time for him. To, he, he'll say, okay, now press on. What he's, when he healed those people, what he says, okay, get up and press on. Mm -hmm. And you step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. And start learning for him. Start going to a Bible-based church where you can learn the Word of God. Reopen your Bible so you can learn and read the Word and get it in you. Yes. So it can start coming out of you. Yes. Amen. The spoken Word. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. You have sickness in your body? Just speak to Him. What are you going to speak to Him? The Word of God. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Yes. There's a lot of things happening that are aching and, and hurting and, and malfunctioning. <laughs> so I just say malfunctions. Yeah. Go in Jesus' name. I speak to every part of my body to function the way God created it to function. Amen. So he's going to be healed. We're, we're going to be healed, restored in Jesus' name. Amen. So by his stripes I'm healed and I'm going to speak healing to my body. I even speak to my body and say, receive the word of God. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Um, <laughs> time to give. Go to our website. It should be on your screen, NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God bless you. Have a blessed and happy Valentine's Day and have a blessed day tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen.